Welcome to Reach One Internet's video tutorial on checking your email settings in Microsoft Outlook 2010. Go ahead and open up Outlook 2010 if you haven't already. The first thing we're going to do is click on the File tab and then click on Account Settings. And that'll open this new window here and we'll need to select the account that we want to modify and then click on the Change button right above it. That will open the Change Account window, and we just want to verify that all this information is correct. It should have your name, your email address, the incoming mail server, which should be mail.reachone.com, and the outgoing mail server, which should also be mail.reachone.com. Under Logon Information, your username should actually be your full email address, including the domain, in this case, example at reachone.com and you'll want to enter your password at that point click on the more settings button in the lower right here which will open up yet another window and on the outgoing server tab you'll want to make sure the box that says my outgoing server SMTP requires authentication is checked and that use same settings as my incoming mail server is selected. At that point you can click on the advanced tab and make sure that the ports are set properly. The incoming server port will vary depending on whether you're using an IMAP or a POP. IMAP would be 143 whereas POP would be 110. Uh, if you're not sure about that setting then go ahead and consult our article on support.reach1.com regarding IMAP versus POP. The outgoing server however should always be 587. We're all done there, so go ahead and click on OK. Click on Next, and when you do that, it will test the account settings to make sure they're working properly. In this case, it's all set. We get the congratulations message. We can close that window. Click on Finish. Click on Close. And we have our successful test message showing up right here. So we're all set. Thanks for watching. For more tips and tricks, check out support.reachone.com. Hi, welcome to Reach One Internet's video tutorial on checking your email settings in Windows Live Mail. If you haven't already, go ahead and open up Windows Live Mail. The first thing you'll want to do is click on the Accounts tab at the top. Next, you'll click on the Properties button, and that will open this new window here. On the General tab, you'll see your name, your email address. You'll want to make sure all that information is correct. Next, you'll click on the Servers tab. The incoming mail and outgoing mail fields should both read mail.reachone.com. Under incoming mail server, for the email username, you'll want to make sure that you have your full email address, including the domain. In this example, it's example at reachone.com. Make sure your password's typed correctly. If you're not sure, go ahead and re-enter it. And then down at the bottom, under outgoing mail server, you want to make sure you have a check mark in the box that reads my server requires authentication. Go ahead and click on the settings button just to the right of that and also make sure that use same settings as my incoming mail server is selected. If it is go ahead and click on OK. The next thing that we'll need to do is click on the advanced tab and make sure that the ports are set correctly. The outgoing mail, SMTP port, should be 587. The incoming mail port will vary depending on whether you're using IMAP or POP. For IMAP, it's going to be 143. For POP, it would be 110. In this case, we're using IMAP, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. If you're not sure if you should be using IMAP or POP, go ahead and consult our article on support.reachone.com that talks about IMAP versus POP. At that point we should be all done so I'm gonna go ahead and click on apply and then OK and since we made changes I'm gonna go ahead and click on yes to refresh the folder list and we're all set. Thanks for watching and for more information check out support.reachone.com